Hi, I'm Tom Bettine. Welcome to Phillips Gallery where I'm represented and I'm going to talk about some of my prints here today. Most of my prints are monotype. This one here is a monotype and all printed with an additional print there, hand print of the skulls of little rats. Top piece here of mine is entitled Not Endangered, O oh Rats, about a species that's invasive. I just see it kind of growing and I also felt that was kind of humorous that you know you can have places that show signs of how rat traps work and show the little critters you know destroyed but they're always going to be around and it was just kind of a play or a humorous thing for me to do just to uh, have fun during my process of working it was fun this one on the lower part is the predator birds and the images here are chin kule which means that during the printing process, I print Asian papers onto my prints and then I print over them. And kind of an intensive process as far as shrinkage of the paper and adjusting the inks to that expansion and contraction. This is uh, a monotype and it's also Chin Clay right here in the print. This is one of my favorite prints. It's called The Last Bird, Homage to Flanders, which is Flanders Fields in uh, World War I. And you have the poppy symbolized right here. And this is like one of the last remaining flying birds that made it through an, an incredible battle scene. It's got multiple layers or runs through the press, at least seven. All my prints usually have about seven to eight runs through the press, sometimes more, maybe a little less, but most of the time I'm averaging around seven to eight runs through a press. So that's that. On that one. These are two of my new prints that I'm doing. I call them monostructs. The monostruct for me is like a construct where everything is printed in a monotype format but I've dimensionalized the pieces. So the stone in this one here is lifted and the eclipse, the partial eclipse here is lifted also. And so that's why I call them a monostruct because they are kind of constructed after the printmaking process. The show itself is based on climate crisis and I'm glad Phillips took up this to you know, introduce artists that are very concerned about their environment. My pieces involve the river and birds. I feel that those two subject matters are critical if you're watching what's happening with the world and our own personal demise. So <clears throat> that's why I chose these two uh, venues. These two pieces here, this piece here is based on the river, mostly the Provo River. This is you know, the environment itself. And then my other ones are all birds. So it's kind of like the canary in the cage in the coal mine. You know, they're starting to disappear slowly and we need to take action and take action now. Thanks.